look up from your card. What I just read is a summary of the book of Proverbs. Did you see that? Submission versus rebellion, wisdom versus foolishness, saved versus the, the lost, a humble lifestyle versus the pride. Wow. So back to your slides. God designed marriage as one of the most public displays of his plan and purposes for the world to see. We're to go out and live in a dark and hopeless world chasing after elusive treasures and never finding lasting satisfaction. That's what the worldlings are like. And we're supposed to radiate Christ. <laughs> wow. D did you catch what that just said? Did you know that marriage is one of the most powerful witnessing tools? Did you know that, that you can live in such a way that people go, oh, I don't understand you. You're totally different. I mean, you, you're acting differently than I am. Why? And you say, well, I, I, I was going the same way you are. Did you, did you know salvation is much like uh, uh, going down a river? Here's a river, and a river always flows, you know, from its source to its destination. So it's flowing, following gravity, like that. And so there are two ways of living in the world. You and I were born, man's way is, that we were born into the river of all humanity and we drift along following the crowd going toward the destination. And most people don't even know what the destination is. They just try and have as much fun on the river rafting party as they can. God says, you were born drifting down the river and you bump into Jesus Christ. He stops you in the river. Now, people get saved at all different times. Some people are saved near the end of their life. Some people are saved at the midpoint. Most people come to know Christ as a young person. But you know what? When we get saved, Jesus turns us from going toward the broad way, the way of destruction, the way that the world is going, and he points us the other way toward the narrow gate, the way of wisdom submitting to him of salvation, of not being proud like everybody in the world. And he turns around our little raft, our boat, our canoe. And you know what, what the Christian life is? It's paddling upstream. Here you are. And you're going this way. Everybody else is going that way. That's what's called persecution, opposition. Everybody in the world is going, whoa, you're going the wrong way. Come on, we're going this way. Do you know what Peter said? He said, people get upset at you because you don't want to do what they're doing. You don't want to go to their parties. You don't want to get drunk. You don't want to get high. You don't want to live for materialistic goals in life and abandon your family and your relationships just for yourself. And you, you say, it's time for me to live for myself and you know, achieve everything. No, I want to submit to God and I want to live his way. Wow. Marriage, when lived out, the way Proverbs describes it and Titus 2 gives the curriculum for, for every older and younger man and older and younger woman, radiates Christ. Look back at your slide. We're to go out and live in a dark and hopeless world and the worldlings are chasing elusive pleasures and they never find lasting satisfaction and we're supposed to radiate Christ. 